This morning we have our final reading from Isaiah 43. Previous to me, there was no such thing as a God, nor will there be after me. I, yes I, am God. I'm the only saviour there is. Yes, I am God. I've always been God and I always will be God. No one can take anything from me I make. Who can unmake it? Now, if God could ever be accused of being the big I am, then it's here in these verses. Here he makes it clear, he is God. And I feel like when I write that, that it needs to be with cap locks on. He declares before me no such thing as a God. Now, of course, there is no before God because he has always been. But we won't be going down that rabbit hole this morning because it's a real mind stretcher. Just take from this that there is only one true God. He is our saviour our only saviour and God told what to exist and it only does because God spoke creation into being. Now I've always felt that part of my role at church is to help us all realise how big our God is. You may feel small, insignificant or vulnerable, but we must never forget how awesome and big our God is. Whatever we face with him, we are described not as weak, but conquering, actually more than conquerors. So God sees us with Christ at our side as the most incredible, powerful person. He that is in us is greater than he that is in the world. Our God is big. He always has been God and always will be God. No one can overpower him. What he says go, he, he is the king of kings, God, the boss, and he is with you today. You really don't need anything else because your God, our God, is a great big God. May that bring comfort to you today. So let us pray. Lord, enlarge in us our understanding of how you are the I am and what that means to us today and all the challenges we face. May we know with you we are all more than conquerors and I choose today to trust in you in all circumstances. Amen.